Hey guys, my name's Zach Fox, and for today's MTV News intro, I hit the streets to ask you what you'd like to see. Let's hear the winning idea. An intro for what? I mean, did you ask more than one person? Lazy. Every January, the Hollywood Foreign Press Association hosts the glittering Golden Globe Awards, a prestigious ceremony that attracts more stars than... I don't know, come back to me on that. So to celebrate, here's our top five favorite cringe moments from the event. One, Nicole Kidman and husband Keith Urban share a loving kiss with all the grace of nervous teenagers playing spin the bottle on an end of year camping trip. At least they weren't stood up in the middle of the room though. Two, James Franco did not want Tommy Wiseau to talk on stage. Where was he during the filming of The Room? Am I right? I sure hope so. Three, Natalie Portman subtly threw shade at the awards for snubbing female directors by announcing the award with, and here are the all male nominees. I thought you said subtly. Four, Halle Berry was spot, that is not Halle Berry. And finally, five. Every star who attended wore black clothing in support of the Time's Up movement, standing in solidarity with victims of sexual assault and harassment. Well, nearly every star. Whoopsie. Sorry, actress Blanca Blanco. You might want to get back on your email. You simply have to be in this day and age. You're just lucky you look fabulous. This is more awkward than any of those five things. <laughs> Sophie Kasai looks great after dropping four whole dress sizes. Trust me, fellas, that's a big achievement. It's like Leicester winning the Championship Ashes Cup. International tournament. Sophie jumped straight on Instagram to present to us the results of her rigorous diet, dropping from a size 16 to a size 8. Wow. She's now got more confidence than vowels in her name. The caption reads, hashtag Sunday selfie. I never ever thought I would have the confidence to pose for a lingerie selfie. It's never too late to make a change. I did it, so can you. I've gone from a size 16 to a size 8 in the last six months. And in another selfie, Sophie says, I got myself in such a bad place where I thought there was no way out. But there always is. Healthy eating and changing my way of life has changed me not only physically but mentally. Fantastic advice. Selena Gomez unfollows nearly 300 people on Instagram. Now I know what you're thinking. Can you list some big juicy names she's both given the axe to and decided to spare from the culling? I don't care what you're actually thinking. Strap in, we're doing it. Taylor Swift, in. Justin Trantor, in. Demi Lovato, out. Amy Schumer, in. Gigi Hadid, see ya. Her assistant Teresa Mingus, goodbye. Louis Vuitton, in. Oh, thank goodness. She's also gone and changed her profile picture to a picture of her mum, Mandy Teefy. Now, I know what you're thinking. What's brought on this sudden change? Well, she recently took a trip to her childhood home in Texas. She's quoted as saying, I visit this place every chance I get. In many ways, it very well could have been better than my life today. But I'm grateful for a voice that can enable change today. Even when I don't know how to do it well or actually want it. I love you, Grand Prairie. Thank you. Now, I know what you're thinking. This little stroll down memory lane and subsequent mental and physical revisiting of her youth could have sparked a nostalgia fueled spirit spiritual and virtual spring cleaning, all right? I don't know what you're thinking, okay? You got me, I have no idea. Turns out, plants can hear themselves being eaten. Yes, really, sorry vegans. Researchers at the University of Missouri have discovered that plants can identify sounds nearby and can then react, like defending themselves when they hear a hungry insect or grinding on the dance floor when they hear a UK top 40. For an infinitely less funny and more true explanation, Heidi Appel says, We found that feeding vibrations signal changes in the plant cell's metabolism, creating more defensive chemicals that can repel attacks from caterpillars. That is genius! Maybe I should try defending myself with defensive chemicals. Yuck. She continues, This research also also opens the window of plant behavior a little wider, showing that plants have many of the same responses to outside influences that animals do, even though the responses look different. That almost seems hard to believe, doesn't it? A plant scientist whose name is literally Apple. What world do we live in? That's all for this week. Jack will see you soon. Is anyone going to pull their weight around here?